so hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video i will be explaining the problem encrypt and decrypt strings uh, and it is going to be super clear to you once i have explained this problem so uh, at first glance this problem seems a little bit difficult but uh, i found it pretty easy uh, because i am aware of uh, i have solved some certain problems of this kind so i have an idea that how these problems where you have to implement a class works okay so i will first explain you the class concept and then i will code it and it will be super clear to you so by the way i uh, do like the video and subscribe the channel if you like this video so let's begin so then this problem it is asking you to encrypt a class called encryptor where you have you will get certain strings you have to encrypt it and you have to decrypt it okay so how do these problems work okay so for example uh so take for example vector okay so in vector you have certain methods okay so for example vector dot size it returns you the length of that vector okay and for example let's say vector dot pop it will remove the last element in that vector it, uh, vector dot push back it will just push another element in that vector so similarly here you have to uh, implement this this encryptor class where uh, in the beginning you pass certain parameters so that this class is initialized and then you have certain methods either encrypt a word decrypt a word so this is all you have to do so this problem is pretty easy okay not that difficult so let's begin solving this problem so what we will do is that we will implement break this problem part by part so first i will implement this encrypt function and then i will implement this decrypt function okay so in encryption i hope you have read this problem well because i'm not uh, wasting time in explaining this problem again you have you should but i will just s explain while solving it okay so in the problem it is said that a is mapped to ei b is mapped to zf c is mapped to ei okay so if you get a string called abcd you will map it like ei zf ei am okay so after reading this the best uh, approach will be to implement it via map so what i will do is that i will make a map uh, character string let's name it emp encryption map so first thing what i will do is that i will populate this encryption map so for int i is equal to zero i less than keys dot size i plus plus and this emp keys i emp keys i is equal to values i so i have made this encryption map now mm, so if i decide to print it oh uh, it will look something like this so for auto object dot what emp i'm just printing it to show you so auto emp it will be see out object dot first uh, object dot second handle and in the <laughs> for I'm just writing something return empty string return one okay <clears throat> so if you run on this <clears throat> sorry test case you will get it like this so the emp map will look certain something like this e is a is mapped to eib is mapped to zf so this will make our uh, job of encryption super easy so let's write our encryption function string res is equal to empty okay and now what i will do is that suppose i get this word one for int i is equal to zero i less than word one dot size i plus plus so i will just res plus equals to emp word one i okay and in the end i will just return res 
so here so in the beginning what is happening is in the beginning is that it is calling the encryptor function so the when this encryptor is called this whole my map emp will get initialized okay and when this encrypt is called then it will uh, encrypt a word word one and then it will return the result when when decrypt is called you will have to return the number of ways a word to can be decrypted okay so if i run it now let's run it so i am getting that once uh, if you encrypt a particular a string a b c d uh, then it will uh, return this ei's whatever this encryption is so my encryption function is complete now the problem is to complete this decryption problem okay not a problem but a challenge okay so in decryption what is you have to return that uh, the number of ways a string can be decrypted okay so a string can be decrypted so for example here in this example it is saying that if you go on to decrypt this uh, string eizf eiam then it can give you four possible answers okay a b a d c b a d a b c d a c b d so you don't have to return four but you have to return only two because the dictionary that was provided in the beginning only has two of these four words okay so there are uh, two things you can two ways you can implement this function the first way will be that you generate all sorts of possible strings let's say there are 10000 strings so you generate those 10000 strings and then you check this dictionary that you were provided with in the beginning and eliminate all those words so but uh, if you are smart you will just uh, see that the dictionary length can be only 100 okay so a better way to generate all the rather than generating all the possible strings after decryption the best way will be to decrypt all these strings 100 strings in the uh, that is provided in the dictionary and then you just uh, uh, you don't have to do anything you just have to return the number of ways uh, decryption uh, like a string can be decrypted to mm, well that was a little not so clear anyway what I will do is that I will take each of these string and then uh, also store the encryption string of these uh, dictionary strings so it will be only 100 so what I will do is that I will actually I will not even store the encryptions I will just store the number okay so let's write it so map string comma in actually I will store the encryptions so let's name it dict uh, encryptions encryptions okay. so what I will do is that uh, I will just traverse this dictionary so for uh, let's write auto word dictionary dictionary so what this auto word does is that it takes each word out of this dictionary and we have this word so what I will do is that now I will uh, get the encryption of this particular string so let's name it encrypted string is equal to this dot encrypt this dot encrypt word okay so uh, what this does is that it will take one word and call this encryption method so since we are in the same class to call an, an another method you just have to write it like this so this encrypt word so in the return I will get this encryption for example if you send this word ABCD you will get this EIZ VM okay and now what I will do is that I will populate my dict encryption uh, just let me copy this dict encryption and encryption encrypted string copy paste plus plus okay so how will this look like uh, let's just uh, write it down again mm, okay so this will let's copy this and object dot first so this will look like this so for example amzif the encrypted string will have one number of copies 
this EZ, EIZ, FEIM will have two uh, instances. Like there are two strings in this dictionary that will have this same encryption that EIZ, FIEM has. Okay, so now once I have made this, what I will do is that I will, since it is asking me to return the number, what I will do is that I will just simply call this decryption and I will pass my word to, okay. So this will just solve my problem. So for example, in the, uh, in this problem, I have to call, uh, what E I Z F E I M. So in the map also where I showed you that, uh, in this printing that E I Z E F M has a uh, two number of words. Okay. So, you know, this problem is solved. Let's submit it and call it a day. <laughs> By the way, please like the video and subscribe the channel. So it is pretty fast, 92% faster. And if you see, this problem is actually very easy, isn't it? You just have to make two maps. You have to initialize those two maps. You have to complete the first method encrypt, and then you have to complete the second method. So that's all there is in this problem. So feel free to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.